Hey, how's it going? I'm Ben from Universal Audio, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use the 175B and 176 tube compressor collection. Now, the original hardware units were designed in the 1960s by Bill Putnam Sr., and they were actually the first compressors limiters purpose-built for recording studios. You'll notice on the hardware, they're just filled with tubes and transformers that give it an unmistakable character and grit. So today I'm gonna to show you all the features, and more importantly, the sound of these incredible units. Let's get started. So for this first example, I'm gonna pull up a vocal stem from the song Something to Believe in by Young the Giant. Now, as you're gonna hear, there's already reverb, delay, compression, EQ, already baked into the stem. So what we're gonna to show today is how you can add a little bit more of a warm edge to that sound and make it pop out of the mix even further. So to do that, I'm gonna insert the 175B plugin, which to my ears is a little bit warmer, a little bit grittier of the two plugins, and just see what it sounds like with its stock settings. It gets old when you talk to the sun In a tongue understood by no one now, just on its factory default settings, it's already adding a ton of color to the sound. Let's hear without. It gets old when you talk to the sun. And with. It gets old when you talk to the sun. So it's already adding a little bit of edge to the vocal. But what happens if we push it a little bit further? Let's find out. It gets old when you talk to the sun. So you can hear as I increase the gain into the compressor, not only is it pushing back and pumping more, but it's also adding a lot of tone and grit to the sound. But we're only halfway there, because on the left side of this plugin is a low high knob, which adds even more gain. Let's hear what that sounds like. It gets old when you talk to the sun So that's what I like to call completely overdoing it. So let's bring that gain back down to low. And then also, you'll notice in the middle here, there's a mix control. And what this allows you to do is allows you to sneak this compression and character in underneath the original track. Let's see what that sounds like. It gets old when you talk to the sun In a tongue understood by no one Can it be that I hear what he's saying Is there a reason why I'm still awake? And he says So by using the mix control, I'm able to dial in the perfect amount of this compression and tone that I'm getting out of the 175B. So now for the second example, and everybody's favorite thing to hear compressors on, let's pull up some drums. So now I'm gonna insert the UA176 plugin. Again, let's hear what this sounds like just with the factory default settings. So you hear that compressor is just making it feel like the air in the room is moving all around. Let's take a listen again, dry, and then I'll turn the compression back on halfway through. So to get the fastest attack out of this compressor, you turn it all the way to number seven. So I'm gonna play it back and I'll be moving the attack control from seven down to one so you can really hear the difference that that's making. So as you can hear, on its fastest setting, all the transients are getting clamped down super fast, and as I open it up, you're starting to hear a little bit more of the kick and the snare punching through. So my personal preference is to leave a lot of that transient information in there, so I liked it somewhere around three. But like I mentioned, there's also the release control. Now what the release really allows you to customize is the pumping or the amount of compression feel that you're getting out of the unit. So let's start with that in its fastest setting, and I'll roll it back to the slowest, and we'll try to find somewhere in the middle there that feels good. So 
So as you hear, as I lengthen the release control, bring it closer to one, the sound just feels more clamped and more glued together. And as I open it up, you're getting a lot more pumping effect, a lot more action and movement in the drums. So my personal preference, especially for drums, is to leave this on the faster side so you're getting as much of that movement and energy as possible. So now that we've got our attack and release controls dialed in, let's look to the other side of the plugin. And you'll notice this is one of the major differences between the 175B and 176 plugins. The 175B had that gain knob, and on the 176, we get a ratio control. So what's great about each of these ratios is that they have a different response curve to them. The two to one is a soft, gentle knee, whereas the 12 to one is a really sharp knee. And that gives you a very different character to the compression sound. Now, to help you guys better hear this, I'm gonna crank up the input control so we're really driving into this compressor. So you should be able to hear the difference noticeably between these ratios. So you can hear the two to one has the softest compression characteristic to it. And especially when you crank it up to 12 to one, you're really hearing the impact of that compressor is having on the sound. But one other thing you may be noticing is that whenever the toms come in, the entire stereo image just kind of shifts from left to right and it's moving the kick and snare around in the mix. Well, luckily there's a control that helps me fix this problem by linking together the side chains. It's gonna now compress both sides equally and keep my kick and snare perfectly in the middle. Let's take a listen. So now the kick and snare are staying perfectly centered even when there's some toms driving the compression on either side. So now that we've got this compressor pretty well dialed in, I wanna show you one feature that you'll find on a lot of UAD plugins that not everybody knows about, and that's called the headroom control. Basically what this is doing is it's changing the operating level of the entire unit, which allows you to quickly turn up or turn down the amount of compression and harmonics without having to mess with the input and output knobs. Let's see what that sounds like. So you can hear that headroom control has a drastic impact on the sound. As I move it to the right, I'm just increasing the amount of distortion and compression, and as I move it to the left, I'm easing up on everything without having to change any of the settings on the plugin. So since I'm kind of over compressing these drums and they're sounding a little too squishy, I'm gonna actually use that control to just dial back the compression a little bit on the drums. So for this last example, I'm gonna pull up the guitar subgroup and show you guys some of the advanced features of these plugins. So now, as you may notice on the attack knob, the bottom left-hand side, there's a little off label. Now, what that allows you to do is allows you to turn off the compression of the unit, making it basically just a distortion box. Pretty cool, right? So now you'll notice you can't just turn the attack knob to the off position like you can on the hardware. No, you have to click directly on the off label in order to turn off the gain reduction circuit. So now the other advanced feature I want to show you guys is the vernier knob. I'm sure you've noticed that the input and output knobs are operating in two dB steps which sometimes may be too big of a leap. What the veneer knob allows you to do is allows you to have infinite control over both of those knobs and really fine tune the gain both in and out of the plugin. So now let's hear these guitars in context and dial in a sound that we like. So as you saw, I was driving the input knob up and compensating by bringing the output knob down a little bit. And then I was bringing it in and out there during the chorus to really hear what the effect this is having on the guitar sounds. And what I was hearing is just a little bit more presence, a little bit more grit and warmth, you know, just a, a little bit added body to the guitars overall. And it's nice to be able to add this tone without having to compress the guitars any further. So as you saw, the 175B and 176 tube compressor collection are a powerful pair of plugins. The minute you put these on your tracks, you're instantly getting warmth. And as you dial in the compression, you can really add a ton of character and energy to your tracks. 
So if you already own UAD hardware or a UA audio interface, you can actually demo these plugins for free for 14 days. And I highly suggest you throw it on some drums or a vocal and really get to know the character and drive that these can add to your tracks. And if you want to learn more about this plugin or the UAD platform, just head to uaudio.com and I'll see you guys next time. Did I hear what he's saying? Is there a reason why I'm still up?